Hello everyone, Veronica here and today I am super excited because I'm going to be taking my first look into Adobe Photoshop CS6. Actually, it's like my one and a half time looking into it because I already opened it up when I installed it. Now, the first thing that I noticed after installation was that they changed the icon logos and I thought to myself why on earth did they do that I love the logos the way they were before I thought it was clean simplistic perfect but now that I'm looking at them in my taskbar I think it looks awesome they stand out really nicely against the black the border really makes it pop and it's kind of glowing so it's actually even easier to read so on second thought, I think I like it a lot. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up Photoshop and look at that. Fancy, right? And I love how fast it opened. My Photoshop CS4 did not open as quickly. I um, am upgrading from CS4. I skipped right over CS5, although I meant to get that for like ever, but I just never got around to it. So when I first opened up Photoshop CS6, the very first thing I got was a warning about my graphics card um, and some features being disabled in Photoshop because of GPU acceleration. Um, with this new 3D rendering that Photoshop has and also some other features with the video and everything they have accelerated their program so that you're going to get a lot faster rendering they have like draggable drop shadows and all that type of thing is going to require you to have a really good graphics processor so I clicked the link that sent me to the page they referred me to and it gave a list of some of the graphic drivers that they had tested it in and luckily mine was on there so I just went ahead upgraded my driver or updated it I should say and once I restarted Photoshop that message was no longer there Whew. Okay, um, it also asked me, did I want to um, import my preferences from Photoshop CS4, which at the time I didn't do it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So what I do is I just go to Edit, Presets, and then Migrate Presets. And this is awesome because you know when you have everything set up the way you love it you just want it to be just like that again and without having to put too much effort into it so um, would you like to migrate presets from the following versions and as you can see I had CS4 so I'm gonna go ahead and say yes I have no idea what it's going to do because I didn't really test this out so it's telling me there's no documents open I don't know what that means so I'm just gonna say okay and hopefully it's doing something I have no idea if it is or not okay and I'm back and yes it actually did do something I was getting a little bit worried there so um, I'm gonna say that took about a minute a minute and a half maybe two minutes and here you can see it says preset files from older versions successfully migrated and I'm gonna go ahead and say okay the next thing I'm going to do is load my workspaces from CS4 because I had my station set up exactly the way I wanted it and this essentials workspace is just not working for me so now I'm going to go back to edit presets and now I'm going to go to export import presets and then you'll go to import presets and select folder to import and then you'll go to your user file um, you'll find your name whatever your folder is named app data roaming Adobe and I'm going to go to Adobe Photoshop CS4 Adobe Photoshop CS4 settings workspaces and then click OK and then you can see here all the different workspaces that I had set up so I'm gonna go ahead and click my favorites because I had a lot of them <laughs> as you can see but I'm just gonna click my favorites 
Holding down the control key doesn't allow me to select more than one, so I'm just going to select them one by one and add that over. Some of these I don't even remember what they're for, but I'm just going to pick my favorites that I know I used all the time and click import. And here I have some type of a file conflict. Um, it, it conflicts with the existing custom workspaces. That's, that's unfortunate. If you continue, the existing workspaces will be replaced with the workspaces you are importing. So, do you want to continue? I'm just going to go ahead and say yes. Because, what else can I do? And now it's telling me I need to restart Photoshop in order for these to take effect. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And let's see what happened. Woohoo! There we have it. Here are my favorite presets and I'm going to go ahead and put that on and see what happens. And this is my preset for when I'm doing videos for Wedding Album Cafe. And that looks basically just like what I have, except of course it's empty. And as you can see, the layers palettes are a bit different. As I'm going through Photoshop CS6, I'll be doing some videos on some of the new features. And from what I understand, a lot of the features are really fantastic, which is why I decided to finally go ahead and upgrade. Um, right offhand, some of my favorite new things are and I don't know what took Adobe so long is autosave. So now when you're working on your documents, your um, files are going to autosave themselves. So should Adobe Photoshop crash, which sometimes it is known to do, when you open that up, your file will be ready and waiting for you. And that alone in itself was enough to make me upgrade. And a bunch of other things I can't even think of right now. but. Right off the bat, you can see that the interface is completely changed. The color, for one thing, is different. Uh, they say that this is to make it so much easier on your eyes. And I know that this is what the interface um, looks like. Not the actual interface, but the coloring in Adobe Photoshop Elements. I don't use Elements that much, but sometimes I record video for another company for Elements and um, it looks like this, so I'm kind of used to it. When I first saw it, I thought, wow, that's dark, but now I guess I'm getting used to it. Another thing I'm going to show you really quickly before I close out this video, because this was just a little sneak peek, and I have to say... I, I'm liking it. I think it looks good. I think I'm going to love working in it. Um, but let me show you this one last thing. If you go here to File, Browse in Mini Bridge. Oops, I forgot to turn Bridge on. So you can see this little message that says um, Launch Bridge. I'll just go ahead and click that. And when I did this before, it docked right down here. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it right there, which is awesome. In Adobe Elements, I notice... Ah, oh, look, there's me. <laughs> In Adobe Elements, I notice that... Um, they have this little window here where you can actually navigate the files that you're looking at while you're working right in your document and I thought wow why don't they have that in Photoshop well now they do um, in Adobe Elements it's not actually bridge it's just like a little view window that you can go to maybe now they have it the bridge in there I don't know because I don't use it that often but now you can navigate to your folders drag and drop files directly into Photoshop from whatever folder you happen to be working in and I think that's an awesome feature so 
hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and I hope I've increased your excitement for the new version of Photoshop and um, if you don't have Photoshop CS6 you might want to consider getting it if you do have it stay tuned to Wedding Album Cafe for more updates tips and tricks for getting to know your program a little bit better thanks for tuning in if you enjoyed this video remember to share like or subscribe